here's what the little hatched tadpoles looked like yesterday. And here's what I woke up to this morning. Their shape has changed. They're developing more of a head and a skinnier tail. And here, some of them are swimming around. Many of them are still just on the bottom of the breeder box. And so what I've been doing is transferring the ones that are swimming to the main tank area. And here, this is the uh, side. Most of them have attached themselves to the side glass, the bottom glass, and the other side glass walls of the tank. They're not free swimming too much yet. Okay, here's what it looks like now. What I did was first I removed all of the floating plants because I didn't see how they were helping at all really. And um, then I removed all the moldy eggs that were settled on the bottom of the breeder box. And this is what is left. I don't think any of them are moldy. Uh, you can tell they're moldy because there's kind of a cottony uh, white fungus growth around the eggs. And so you want to remove those so that the fungus doesn't uh, spread to the other eggs. And these are the few eggs that I think are not moldy. It's hard to tell. From up above, you can't really tell, but when you look at it from the side, you can see. And then all the uh, little tadpoles that finally formed from the eggs, they're mini tadpoles, um, I transferred to the rest of the tank. And that's what you have seen in the previous and following uh, clips, video clips. Okay, so we'll see what happens with this. From what I could count, I probably have anywhere from 30 to 40 or so, or maybe even 50, little mini, mini tadpoles um, gathered on the uh, glass side glass walls of the tank and the bottom and I'm hoping they survive uh, one thing about the ones on the bottom I wasn't quite sure are they dead or are they still alive there's there's some settled food on the bottom um, and so I'm thinking uh, when they're on the bottom there they're not really moving and I was wondering, are they feeding on what's on the bottom? Are they still alive or are they dead? Because they're the shape of the tadpoles. And so what I did was I took the turkey baster and just kind of created a little current down there, kind of blew on them to see what would happen. And when I blew on them, of course, they swirled around a little bit. But then I did see that they were kind of wriggling and I even blew on the sides the side glass so that they were off the glass and they've returned many of them so they must still be alive thank goodness so we will see 